Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Scorpio, we're going to look at your energy and an energy outside of you this week. I'm going to do that with the Energy Oracle deck and the Tarot. I'm going to get started a shuffling here for you. It's just a reminder that it is general. Because it's a general message, it may or may not resonate. If it does, I'm glad we're able to connect. If it does not, hopefully the next time, Scorpio. My Scorpicinos, let us take a good look here at the energies. <clears throat> Who you are, the storm, you are the storm. You are the storm warning. Could be some difficulties that you're having within yourself right now, or there could be something external in your world, or both of these, or there's something going on in your world externally that is affecting you internally. Some of you could be in the storm surge. I hope you're not, I hope you're all okay. Um, but yeah, that's very interesting. What is your motivation? Peace, rest, and rejuvenation. Wow, it kind of feels like whoever I'm picking up on here, you're going, you've got something difficult that you're dealing with right now. And really what you want is peace. You want everything to be calm. You want to find peace. You would like to have your own peace. Maybe you even want more. I've got here more leisure time and relaxed thinking. You would like more leisure time in your life, more um, less heavy thoughts that you have to deal with, Less conflict in your life. That's nice. What have you overcome? Victory. <laughs> victory. You've overcome victory. It's interesting because there's like this storm energy here. Like there is something going on. I feel like you've succeeded in something, but there's something that you're struggling with right now. How do you... Okay, so there's another. There's another energy in this reading. So we're going to ask how you view them. Healer of the Ages. Health and vitality. Divine consciousness pours to you. Interesting. So I want to say you see this person in a good light. Or you might see this person. Maybe this person has actually like healed something in their life as well. All right. So who is this other? Let's take a look. <clears throat> who is the other? Who the other is? Blossoming abundance. Yeah, something's working out for this person. Well, that's great. <laughs> I got the storms, but... Okay, what is this person's motivation? What motivates this person? The garden and the gate. So this person... Oh, I want to say it's almost like this person has walked through um, a new cycle. They've stepped into something new here that is unfamiliar to them. And it's almost like they're start like things are starting to grow, like they're creating a new garden. What have they overcome? Attachment. So something that was stopping them in the past, something that was stopping this person in the past is no longer stopping them. How do they view you? Oh, interesting. Broken heart. Right, and you have this. You have the storm card. So it does look like that you're going through something difficult, or you're feeling something difficult, or there's something here that has broken um, your heart or hurt you. That maybe you do. Maybe you are going through some sort of grief process at this time. Um, and really what you want is you just want peace. You just want peace. I feel like there's something here that you've already achieved. Interesting. Georgia Spirit is the bottom, the underlying. So some type of awakening process here that's happened. This is feeling like... Like divine intervention. So I don't know. I feel, I'm getting this vibe of some type of divine intervention in the past. Almost like the gods just blew the doors open. And things just changed. Like it brought in a sudden change. <clears throat> All right. Oh, that, wait, wait, wait. I want to say, okay. I want to ask, like, how do you know this person? 
How do you know this other? How does Scorpio know this other? How are they connected to the other? How is Scorpio connected to the other? Oh. A th the thinking woman. So that's interesting. So you could literally... I don't know. I feel like when I ask how you know this person or how are you connected to them, and I get a card like this, it feels like there's a specific person that, like, you know. You know this person through someone else here. But this could also be someone who, um, you might see this person as they are very wise. They've been, they've been through a lot. They've, um, kind of made their own leaps and bounds here in life, and they've learned and applied that learning. Second chakra, anxiety, and then deceit in the temple path. It's almost like, I want to say this underline has this feeling to me of someone who's almost uh, finding... But it comes up as like a bad habit or something. I don't know. This is feeling more like the devil card. It's kind of giving me this vibe you're underlying here of somebody who's um, kind of anxious in an unhealthy way about connecting closely with other people. And then maybe even choosing like, I don't know, like a, a path of celibacy or something. Like it just feels like, uh, I feel anxious about being vulnerable with other people. I feel like there's they have hidden tactics. I'm just going to choose. I'm going to choose like the path, which is interesting too, this rest and rejuvenation. Like what would you do if you walked up those steps? It's almost like a place where I would probably sit around and I would listen to the birds and I would look at... But it is. It's almost like a place where you could go and you could meditate and you could just find your peace. <clears throat> I'm kind of feeling a little bit here. Like, I don't know. With that underline, there might be like... You just want peace away from people? Could be. I think we've all been there at different times. <clears throat> Who you are is storm warning. Okay. You know what? I'm also feeling like there's something that could be triggering you. And you're trying not to let it, right? Like with your mo your motivation here with the rest and rejuvenation. It's almost like a store. It's like, oh, you know what? When I start to feel this way or I start to think like this, I know I need to go. I need to take my breaths. I need to just calm my mind. It's giving me that vibe. Like who you are. There's a storm warning. Okay, there's a warning. Something... No, don't think like that. Or don't... Oh, you know what happens when you go and do that. I don't know. There's something... Okay, so let's not, let's not think that. This is, it's almost like this is, okay. Having a very conscious awareness about, you know, if you start to develop a certain thought pattern or you start to, I don't know, something like that, like that internally starts to happen and it's like, oh, you know what? Then that happens and then this happens and then that happens. And it's like, okay, what I want to do is I'm just going to, we're going to, yeah. Cut that off before that happens. For some of you, it does feel like it could be an internal process. Who you are is a storm warning. It's weird. It feels like these cards are not shuffling. What's going on? It's like they come out and then they go back in. There. All right. Thank you. Who you are, the Empress, the Frick. That's a nice energy. Um, a storm warning, though. Jeez. You know, I want to say, it's kind of coming off as like Gaia, <laughs> Mother Earth energy. Yes, she can bring you lots of fruit. <laughs> lots of fruit. Lots of fruit can come from these trees. But I'll also fuck you up, man. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's Mother Earth. I will give you bounty. I will make you feel happy and safe. Glorious. The birds will be chirping. The sun will feel so lovely. But I'll come in, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> That's who you are. 
All right, Scorpio. You know I love you. Okay. Rest and rejuvenation is your motivation, the chariot. You want to go somewhere peaceful. That's what that feels like. It feels like to me you want to go somewhere peaceful. You want to find your peace. You want to take yourself somewhere, whether this is an emotional trip or an actual like physical trip somewhere, where you find peace. That's what motivates you right now, Scorpio, is fucking peace. <laughs> what have you overcome? Victory. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. Well, that's the biggest victory of all. Eh? I mean, it's like the Ten of Pentacles. It doesn't uh, go any higher than that. So it's, a, it's like an achievement. It could be some type of achievement at work. You could have hit your highest pay grade. <laughs> no, you could have bought a house. You've got the best, most perfect house. You've overcome that. I, yeah. It feels like to me there's something here that you wanted to achieve in a monetary sense and you did it you got the victory in that and now you're on your way to peace but it's like you're you're a bit of a chaotic it could be like i want to say if you're approaching anybody there's like a lot of chaos and I don't know change or something associated with that but it's funny but it's like but all I want is peace is how you come off like that that's all I want I just want peace just peace <laughs> how do you view this other is healer of the ages now I'm not gonna lie I wonder if some of you are actually going somewhere here like if some of you are going to some sort of like spiritual retreat or um, mindfulness retreat so I don't know it could be. This could be the place where there's a lot of thinking. Like, this person thinks a lot. I don't... Yeah. If this person sees you coming in, or this person sees you, they view you with a broken heart. Okay, so the other... How you view them? Healer of the Ages. The Tower. Oh... Yeah, because the the tower feels like the storm card, <laughs> right? Like, they're both got, like, this funnel shape here. Right, is that? So, it's who you are is... <clears throat> you could be, like, um, a tired and worn-out empress, too. And this other, though, is the healer of the storms. <laughs> so, you, so you're the storm, and the other is the healer of the storms. And the other sees you, sees your pain. That's so interesting. Okay. Who the other is? Well, they are blossoming abundance. So that's nice. Things grow there. It's peace. It's almost like after all of the storms and the rain, look at everything is growing. Huh, I don't know who, how, I don't know, maybe you meet this person in a library. <laughs> I don't know. But this is, this is good. This seems good. <clears throat> the other is Blossoming Abundance, the Garden and the Gate. Da, 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 da. Okay, they are Blossoming Abundance, the world. Well, that's interesting. So... Well, they're closing some type of cycle off. Well, let's look at all of this. What is their motivation? It's the garden and the gate. It's the seven of pentacles. This person is in some type of replanning stage. It, could, it makes sense, too, because if there's blossoming abundance, like, it's almost like you, okay, that's a, it's a cycle in itself. And then after things start to blossom, you kind of get, like, cornucopias or harvest. It's like this person is closing off a blossoming stage. They're, 
I think they're preparing to do something new here. This person is preparing to do something new, to take some sort of new action in their life. That's what motivates them. They're, what they've overcome is something that used to hold them back. And maybe that's like why they couldn't walk through a gate or something. Like they couldn't do something here. They couldn't get themselves out of a period of, it just feels like a consistent abundance. It's time to replan. So, okay, attachment is what they've overcome. The Knight of Wands. This person could have been chasing things. This person could have been chasing things, but almost like they were running, it's giving me this, because it's talking about living in fear, addicted to the old, passage forward stopped by strong forces from the past. And they've overcome that. They're the Knight of Wands now. No, maybe they weren't. No. This person has been held back for some reason here. Some type of self-identity has held this person back. They've, they're, they've overcome that. They view you, the broken heart, the Nine of Cups. It's kind of giving me this vibe of someone who's, whose dreams haven't come true. <clears throat> How do you know this person? The thinking woman. Again, it could be this person. The Six of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Oh, that's interesting. It's, it's, I don't know, it's kind of giving me this vibe here of the energy of... Um, Wanting to build a happy, happy, happy life. <laughs> to build a happy life. That's nice. Wanting to build a happy life. Uh, it starts with the devil. That's interesting. It starts with the devil and then the page of cups. And then the fool. It's giving me this vibe of kind of, I'm leaving that, that yuckiness behind me. I'm going, yeah, and then you get the Nine of Pentacles, which is good. This is a good energy. And then the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. It's almost like a determination to come together with people. Well, you are both the Empress and the Storm. Scorpio on a good day, Scorpio on a bad day. And it's funny because with Scorpio here, I have I create. And I'm just thinking like literally like Earth, I create, I destroy. That's what she does. Like, yep. You can't tame that. The storm warning and the Empress. Whoa. <clears throat> you are the Ace of Wands and the Strength card. God, it feels like there's something rumbling inside you feels like there's something inside you that is just, uh, I don't know. But it's, it's really giving me this, like, oh, whenever I start thinking like that or whenever, I don't know. I got to just mm, calm my mind. I'm not going to think those thoughts. I'm not going to think those thoughts. Because it is. It's like, oh, something happening, like an idea, a vision, a feeling, and then holding it back. <laughs> holding it back. I feel like there's a lot of you that gets held back. People don't see it all. And you just want you just want to move to have a more leisurely life here. <laughs> you just you just want peace. I mean that's your motivation here. Is I just want peace. Rest and rejuvenation. The chariot. Oh yeah. <laughs> the sun. Like no more fucking storms. The sun. You just want the sun. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Could be like a mother or someone too that you're dealing with. Or you could be the mother and there's storms all around you all the time. You just want peace. <laughs> yeah. You want the storms to be gone. You just want things to be clear and bright. Clear and bright and happy. <laughs> what you've overcome. Victory, the Ten of Pentacles. Victory. 
<clears throat> the Eight of Swords and the King of Swords. Well, that's interesting. That's giving me kind of a vibe of, um, you know, maybe needing a professional to help you with something here that you didn't know how to navigate. Possibly because it involves some type of specialized thing that you were not specialized in. Or it could have something to do with navigating laws or something like that. But you, you, you've come out, you are the winner here. Now, the other thing also, is there something like, with the Ten of Pentacles, I just feel like you've, you've really achieved something in the physicals. I don't know what this storm is about. What is the storm about? I mean, it's just the Ace of Wands and the Strength card. It is, it's like, a desire and holding it back, like holding it back. Why are you holding your desires back? <clears throat> Empress came out again. The Three of Pentacles and the Empress. I want to say you could be holding your desires back because you don't want to get pregnant. You don't want to get someone pregnant. Okay, it's possible. And <sighs> it comes across to me as you would like to be able to build something. But you almost get too excited. <laughs> it's like, I would like to work very cooperatively here and be able to do this. But I'm getting too excited. <laughs> so I've got to go sit in the closet and count to ten and breathe. <laughs> so, okay. You know, everybody's got their things that you're dealing with. Um, how you view the other. So the other is Healer of the Ages. The Tower. Ah, oh, this person, there's, I don't know, maybe this person is what gets you excited, I don't know. <laughs> because it, it is, it's like it heals. And when I say gets you excited, it's almost like it makes you feel things you haven't felt before when you have the storm. <laughs> it heals your storms? This person heals your storms. And they see, that it's, no, it's almost like they can see. I can see that your wishes have not been fulfilled. The healer of the ages and the tower is how you view the other. <laughs> oh, Lord. The five of cups and the fool. Well, they, it was like they were sad for a time and now they're off to... <laughs> off to good starts. Oh, yeah, well, they're closing something off here with the world. Boop, 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 boop. It's almost like, geez, that person calms their storms quick. Do they really? I don't know. That's how you see this person. They might be able to get over things quite quickly. All right. So what was this blossoming abundance? That that's who they are. Blossoming abundance. But no, they closed that off. The Ten of Wands. Oh. <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Oh. Oh, hmm. I don't know. I feel like you, oh, that's interesting. Because you're the one that, want, you won something here. You, you were the victor in something to do with the Ten of Pentacles. And this person, it's clear that oh, this it's like this person has stepped down or stepped away because you have the success there. They're not even going to try. So I don't know what that's about. But they're not the ones that are having or that have had this victory in association with this Ten of Pentacles. It could be a home. It could be like some sort of fight here for a house or something. <clears throat> Yeah, that that's closed. The world, that's there's there's no other way around that. That is fully finally closed. The world. That's who they are. Oh, the four cups. They are not the winner here. <laughs> you do see them off to a fresh start. It's like, well look at them. Wow, that's so intriguing. It's really intriguing.
I think you won something here. You've come out the winner. <laughs> you're, you're the winner, winner, chicken dinner. You've come out the winner. And you just want peace. That's what that looks like. Yep. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, see, now this person's, right, because this person has got to replan life here. <laughs> so, so, something. So, you're the winner. Why do you see this person as sad and then on to a fresh start? Or maybe you could even see them as someone, well, I guess you're going to have to heal now. <laughs> the garden and the gate is their motivation. The king of cups. Oh, something to do with you. And then the seven of pentacles. See, this is getting juicier. The star. Yeah, this person is motivated by some type of very deep healing. A deep core wound? I don't know. Maybe they have wounds after dealing with you and you're coming out the winner. So I'm going to lean back into that, like how you view the other. I want to say is, yeah, they need to get over something here. They need to, um, they're going to need to heal. But the funny thing is, well, your wishes didn't come true either, did they? <laughs> this person views you. Okay. What they've overcome. Attachment. Passage forward stopped by the past. So, okay. Well, the fuck? The Four of Swords into the Ten of Swords. And then the Wheel of Fortune... Oh, so something really happened here, <laughs> like really that this person did not see coming. Yeah, something happened here and this person did not see that coming. It's almost like everything was peaceful and then it wasn't. And well, you're the storm. <laughs> so, you're the storm. Yeah, you fucked some shit up. You were like, yeah, I can be bright and sunny and happy. I can also be a mother freaking tornado. <laughs> I think you tornadoed somebody here. <clears throat> the Knight of Wands. Is part of what? Okay, this is a, okay. Oh, the Magician and the Four of Wands. funny I opened my mouth and Larry's voice came out <laughs> do that again Larry no I don't know I, mean, I don't know if you could hear that and he's got to check out all this shit I'm pulling out humidifiers and stuff out of the crawl space so you know this is all interesting things to look at now you were just in the crawl space like 10 minutes ago you don't need to go in the crawl space again nothing has changed I'm telling you I see this person has got to, um, they got to start manifesting good stuff in their life. Or maybe that's what they've overcome. Manifesting good stuff. I don't know what happened between you and this person. But Scorpio, it looks like you came out the winner. It looks like you fucked some shit up. <laughs> and now you're like, well, now I guess you got some healing to do over there, don't you? <laughs> but then they just write back at you. Yeah, but your dreams haven't come true, have they? How they view you? The bro broken heart. The page of cups. And the nine of cups. Temperance. Well, aren't your dreams all on hold then, huh? <laughs> That's exactly. I, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like a divorce and like one of y'all, you ended up with the house. This person did not. I don't know what this was. But I do sense some bitterness here. 
Okay. Um, because it literally is like you looking at this person like, yeah, well, you got some healing to do, don't you? And now they got to replan their life here. And then they looking at you like, well, yeah, I guess you're going to have to wait a bit for your plans to restart, aren't you? <laughs> you just put your tail in my mouth. All right. No, no. You know it's my desk. I know. You're so fluffy. Oh, you're cold, dude. You were outside. It's getting cold. His fur is getting thick so quick. Oh. 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 It literally seems like he spent six months growing in a winter coat. And it all comes out. And then it spends six months coming out. <laughs> In the winter coat, in the dirt Larry. Oh, you smell nice. Mmm. He smells like that, kind of like that, that fresh air. Mmm. Yeah, it smells so nice right now. Aren't you lovely? Mm. You're lovely. I need the table though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his feet look so big because they're so fluffy. All right, Mr. Fluffer. And I'll put you down now. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't. Actually, I'm kind of done. I'm done with <laughs> fight everything. I'm going to go do the extended. <clears throat> In the extended, Scorpio, I'm going to ask what this other person doesn't know about you. And then we're going to ask what they don't know. What no, what you don't know about them. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, with this little toaster marshmallow. A toaster marshmallow. I'm trying to figure out if he, um, he's one of the two. He's either a cream point or a flame point, right, doll? It's odd. Sometimes I feel like his points are a little too dark for cream point, but then they're also not dark enough for flame point. Are you an in between point? You're your own point. He's that, yeah. That's what it is. He's a Larry Point. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. He just had his anniversary. Well, it was September 22nd, so it was a couple weeks ago. It was only two years ago that he came to Canada. It feels like he's been with us for decades. It's <laughs> funny. That's funny, eh, Larry? Feels like you've been around for decades. Okay. Bye. That's it. I'm going to go do the extended. I already told you about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Scorpio. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.